So you have a tight pelvic floor. Um, we've talked about some ways to release it through trigger points and things like that that are actually going after the pelvic floor itself. But oftentimes, uh, it's a hip issue that's creating issues with the pelvic floor because remember, everything is connected. So if you have tight glutes, piriformis, external rotators, that might be affecting uh, your pelvic floor and making it tight. So remember, if those glutes um, and you know that, that backside is not strong or it's maybe you're a butt gripper and constantly contracting, that's gonna make your glutes weak, that's gonna make your pelvic floor feel like, oh my God, I have to hold on for dear life because my those glutes aren't showing up the way they're supposed to. So let's talk about how we can work on releasing some of those muscles in the hip and glute area. So um, what you're gonna do first is find a, a ball. Uh, I recommend again, you wanna start on the softer side and then kind of ease your way into something a little harder. I'm using a lacrosse ball because I've been doing this for a while, but a tennis ball might be a great option. You know, the, the massage balls come in different densities, so maybe find a little bit softer one that comes in a soft, like a dense foam, um, because you know, you don't wanna scare yourself or go too hard too quickly. Um, you wanna ease your way into it. So uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back and lie down and you're gonna find your tailbone, I mean, you know where that is, and you're gonna place the ball just to, we're gonna do both sides, but let's just say just to the left, we'll start of the tailbone. And that kind of, we find, um, connects with our piriformis in that area, in that coccyx. And we're just gonna allow that leg to lengthen out, and you can keep this other one bent if you'd like, if you need to kind of be able to control the pressure a little bit more, but really try to relax, try to think about kind of opening up that, uh, those sit bones and just do your best to relax. Now, if again, it's too hard and you're uncomfortable, all you're gonna do is tense up and that is completely counterproductive. So find a softer ball. You can also relax both legs out. I just had my piriformis worked on by a body worker yesterday and they did some great work. I'm a little sore, so I'm gonna <laughs> need to bend that knee to control the pressure. Um, and you just feel free to kind of move it up and down a little bit, just an inch or so, if you feel like there's a spot that works a little better for you. And again, slow, controlled release. So, you know, hang out here for a couple minutes to allow that muscle to completely release. Okay, and make sure you do both sides. Next, what we're gonna focus on is trying to get that ball directly behind the femur. So when the femur sits forward in the socket, um, it creates generally tight glutes, or maybe I should say your tight glutes and piriformis, your backside being tight, um, can push that femur forward, which can create some issues. So we want to get that femur back in the socket where it belongs, like where it should be sitting instead of being pushed forward. So we want to find uh, the head of our femur. So you can extend your leg out and just place your hand kind of right around that hip where you sometimes, a lot of times you have that hip divot and just move your foot in, or in and out. Okay, and you should be able to kind of feel that femur, that rotation in the hand. And you can, if you think you found it, even give it a little pinch so you can really be sure like that's where you're feeling that femur kind of insert into the socket. The head is right there, okay? Then you're gonna take your ball and you're gonna place it kind of directly behind that area. Okay, and that'll get us into that piriformis again. And just, again, relax, lengthen out those legs. And you can kind of control if you're like, oh, I don't think that's quite it. Maybe I want to move it up a little bit. If, you know, if your piriformis is super tight um, and doing the work that maybe your glutes should be doing, you're going to feel this. It's going to be uncomfortable. Um, but just, again, ease your way into it and just do your best to relax. Generally, the longer you're in this position for that trigger, it will release. Okay? So hang out here again, remember to do both sides. And then the last thing you can do um, is get a foam roller out if you really wanna concentrate more on that piriformis. And foam rollers come in different densities. This one's actually fairly soft, um, that softer foam. But you can get ones that are harder, and again, work your way up. But we're just gonna sit on the foam roller. And then you're gonna bend one knee in and you can place that hand behind you. You're gonna rotate a little bit so you're kind of on the outside of that butt, that area where that ball was earlier. And you're just gonna roll forward and back. And you can kind of, 
Again, control the amount of pressure. You might you know, lift a little more out of that arm or even use, uh, put a little more weight into that leg to decrease the pressure if it's just a little too intense. So you completely have control over that. And just spend some time rolling forward and back. Concentrate on those spots where you're like, ooh, that's extra sensey. <laughs> Hang out there for a second. That's the only way it's gonna start to relax. Okay, remember to do both sides. And good luck.